You surprised me again. And that makes me a colossal idiot. Lily, this isn't what you Don't think. tell me what this isn't. My intelligence has been insulted enough for one day. No, you don't understand. You, with your arms around Carly, understood completely. And I actually convinced myself to hold off on the divorce. Never again. I knew I shouldn't have come here. Carly, it's not your fault that Lily jumped to conclusions. Did you hear what she said? She was here to talk to you, to maybe put off the divorce, holding you have to go after her. No, I won't do it. I'm done. I'm through running after her. I won't do it. What happened? What happened was she was, she was hallucinating again. And so you had her admitted to the psych. No, the EMTs did that. She had my gun, Mom. She was going to shoot me. Oh, my God. I should have gotten her help earlier. I should have done that. Have I just, you called I her hoping. mother? Have you called Holden? No, not yet. Oh. You get the nurse. Sure. Get her to unlock this door. Sure. Overkill. I mean, they've got him in the restraints. They've got a guard outside the door. In case he was really violent, I read the report. Yeah, he barricaded him and Emily in a room. He wouldn't let anyone get near them. But I don't understand this. I mean, you've got the same virus or bug or whatever this is, and, and, and you're not violent. I was. When? With Aaron, I, I went after him. Thank God I was stopped before I did any damage. But you're better now. Yeah, absolutely. Christopher. Okay, Mom, I'm not 100%, but I'm well enough to sit in a lab and help figure out what's making us so sick. Honey. Will you please tell your son that he is in no shape to get out of this? Dad, bed? if I can sit in bed, I can sit in a lab. Let me out of here so I can help get this thing under control. From what I just found out, that could be very difficult. because of you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Paul is the reason you're here. Get rid of him, Meg. Find a way to finish what you started. Your vital signs are steady. How are you feeling? Where's Casey? Where's Sleep Casey, Casey Mom. Sleep. Sleep. You'll, you'll see Casey later. Okay, sleep. At least Emily's talking. So it seems like she's getting better. I mean, Allison will too, right? Her pulse and respiration are weaker than ever. So what do we do about that? Does she this need more impossible. oxygen? Or does she... It's impossible. It's impossible. Her whole system is shutting down. Okay, but you can fix it. Yeah? What do you think I'm doing? These are my daughters. I'm doing everything I can. And I can't help them because I don't know what's wrong with them. You got the lab report back. Have they identified the compound? The compound? 
Harpo? We found a uh, strange element in Chris's blood and Casey's and Allison's and Emily's. Virus? Or it would be easier to fight. No, this compound is a synthetic toxin. Oh, it's synthetic. That's why it wasn't flagged in the first blood results. Exactly. But it's lethal. Someone's poisoning us. So I'm supposed to just run after her, beg, plead, ask her to forgive me for hugging a friend? Well, we've been more than that, haven't we? You can't blame her for thinking the worst. You know what? I tried to talk to her. I've tried to explain, but she will not let me get a word out. And if we're going to fix this, it takes two people to make that happen. She has been through an awful lot. Just Lily? I know it's been difficult for you, too. You know, Lou came to me. And he asked me to work this out. To try and work it out. And when I think about him, when I think about the girls and Ethan, and what my choices will cost them... Do it. Try again. If you give up too soon, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Well, well, hello. Don't say it. I'm gone. What was she doing here? She was just trying to help. <laughs> wow. Thanks. You look amazing. <clears throat> you have some good news for me? I don't understand. Um, I was following you in from town. I saw you pulling to the farm. I had talked to Dad earlier. I had asked him if... Luke, you keep trying to push your dad and me back together. It's got to stop. Mama, I asked Carly to talk to Mike so that maybe he could back off so that we could have some space to try and work things out. Oh, hold him. You shouldn't have involved Carly in this. Well, I did, and she talked to him, and he understood. And I was grateful, so I hugged her as a friend. And Lily walked in. Oh, sweetheart, why didn't you anticipate something like that? No, and once again, I I'm wrong, right? I'm wrong, and Lily's blameless. I didn't say that. You know what? I, I, I hate that I hurt her, and I'm very sorry for that. I hate that I've hurt you and the kids. But I can't go on the rest of my life doing damage control. I'm done. Done? Done with your marriage? Giving up on Lily? Holden, that doesn't sound like you, sweetheart. Mama, everything comes to an end. Sometime. For this. No, no, I just no, can't no. watch people we love just fade away because of some maniac. No. I fade away? What are you talking about? This is fatal? Dad, tell her. If we don't find an antidote, that's a strong possibility. But Chris is better now. I'm not so sure about that. He's, he's just drifted out again. He keeps doing that. Okay. Have you spoken to Tom? Um, Tom, Tom was on a business trip and his return flight was canceled, so I told him that Casey had a virus, but I didn't tell him how serious it was because of his heart, Bob. I don't want him to get stressed, and there's nothing we can do about this. Well, hopefully we'll have better news when he gets here. Look, uh, I, I've got to talk to the health department. See that he does not know... Uh, calm down, calm down. Honey, I know you have to leave too, don't you? Yeah, um... Yeah, I gotta get to the station. This is a criminal investigation. How am I gonna leave him? Because you have to. You have to find out who's doing this. I promise you, I'll be here with Casey. My baby boy. You'll always be my little baby boy. No matter what. Oh, uh, honey. What happened? Her fever is spiked. I gotta see Casey. No, 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 no. no. Well, what can no, I do? No, How can no, I help? Go get a nurse. Tell her to bring a crash cart. Now. Okay. Christopher, you get back in that bed this instant. Oh, I'm fine. You are not. Listen, we'll let your father be the judge. Where did you get your clothes? Oh, I had them on my bed. Oh, Chris. Incorrigible. I want you to stay put. Huh, my watch. I thought I lost that. I don't remember that watch. Where'd you get it? You bought it for me, Mom. Me? No, I didn't. Yeah, you sent it in the mail with that note about the conversation we had. Okay, honey. 
what we'll talk about later. Mom, Jacob. Mom, Mom, this isn't confusion. This happened. You sent me the watch in the mail with the note telling me that I should take all the time I needed to figure out what I wanted to do next. I remember you did call me about yeah, that. See, I'm not crazy. I the message. I knew I was going to call you back, and then... But, honey, I, I just thought you were calling me to thank me for the note I left. I, I mean, what is that watch? I didn't need to send that watch to you. And who did? I gave this to Meg. Actually, I lent it to her. She told me about that. Her something borrowed when she and Paul renewed their vows. She's very fond of it. She's the last person on earth that I would expect something like this to happen to. What is causing this? I really can't say, but we are in the process of doing a full medical workup. So you're gonna move her to a medical floor? She'll be much more comfortable there. Well, not just yet. See, if she's on this ward, she's not a danger to herself or to anyone else, and that has to be our primary concern right now. Please don't go. I'd rather you stay. I can't do that. Is there something else I can do? Think of something. Meg, what's wrong? Think. Think. Look around you. Is Sophie here with us? No. Not now. Good girl. And it's, it's creeping. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get the nurse. I know, you, you know what? We shouldn't, we shouldn't bother her. You, you could just take off the restraint. Elisa. Oh, you're right here with me. What could happen? That's the right idea. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, a glass of water would be nice. That's right. Sneak up behind him and put it around his neck. You can do it. What are you waiting for? Whoa, 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 Meg, Meg, Meg! What are you doing? I can't do it. I can't do it. What are you doing here? Why are you dressed? Did your father know you I were had to come. wandering? You need to leave. Mary, all right, I'm sorry. I tried to hurt you. I didn't know what I was doing. I will stay away from Allison. I know I scared her. I didn't mean to. Listen, you need to sit down. I, I need to ask you a question. Well, uh, no, I'm taking you back to your room. Go get a wheelchair. Okay. Don't let him anywhere near Allison. You okay? don't have to worry about that. Please, you, you need to sit down. Susan, this is important. Did Allison or Emily receive anything unusual? Well, why you Did answer? someone mail them something? Something that touches their skin? I, something I, to I, wear? I don't know what Emily gets. How about Allison then, Susan? I need you to think, okay? Well, I can't think of anything. It Except her bracelet, her father sent her. Are you yeah. sure her father of sent her? Did he tell you he sent that bracelet? Oh, no, but I, I... Well, you need to call him right now. Why? Just do it. I didn't want it to happen. She kept saying it. She kept saying it. She kept saying it. She kept saying it. Hey, 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 hey. Michaels, all right? And you, you're, you're gonna get some rest, all right? I love you. I love you. He doesn't know how to love Meg. 
Terry's heart. Kill him. Your ears won't work on me. I'm in your head. You can't kill me. I'm already dead. Leave me alone! I can't, Meg. Because we're the same women that Paul claimed to love and destroyed. He will keep you here forever. You will never get what you want from him. didn't send the bracelet. That's it. That's a contaminant. We need to get that bracelet off for right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I said no, stay no, no. away from her, Aaron, man. Aaron, he's not hurting her. He's probably giving her the first help she's had in days. You, you can't take her bracelet. It's good luck. The lab results show a synthetic toxin in her system. I need to get that bracelet to the lab and test it. Let me, let me, let me. I'm already infected. Okay, put it in, in this bag. <sighs> and sit in that chair. <sighs> Luke, you're spending all your time worrying about your dad and me. It's it's natural, I understand that, but sweetie, that the more you get involved, the harder it is for us. Please try to remember that no matter what happens, we will always be a family. Mom, I know that. And I'm not saying all this because I want you to protect me. I'm trying to protect you. You and Dad belong with each other. It's obvious that you still love each other. He just made this huge mistake. I've made mistakes too, and I didn't fix them along the way. I just kept plowing ahead, assuming that we would make it somehow. Well, you can. <sighs> yeah, we could suffer through it. We could be miserable. Make you kids miserable. <sighs> or we could see the writing on the wall and just let it end. Lisa, hi, it's Holden. I need to uh, book a hotel room for a while. No, no, I, I'm not sure how long I'll be staying. There was nothing going on between Holden and me earlier. So, Holden told me that. Anyway. The reason I left the farm so quickly is because I didn't want a lecture. No lecture. No lecture, Carly. Just... Just a request. I know that you and Lily were once friends, and Holden said that you care about them. Do you? Of course I do. Then please, would you go to Lily and tell her that you're no longer together, or just that you have no designs on him any longer? I have tried. Well, if you really, really care about them, about the family, Carly, please. Please, with all my heart, please, would you try again? You are not to leave your room. Dad, there's definitely unknown no substance on my toxin. watch. You know, we have lab technicians. It's the, the same toxin that was on Allison's bracelet, which appears to be the toxin that was in my bloodstream, Casey's, Emily's, and Allison's. Let me see. So the toxin is is passed by prolonged contact with the skin. Looks that way. Emily must have been wearing something that contained the poison. We just haven't figured out what it was yet. What about Casey? Well, if Emily and Casey had sex, the toxin could have been passed through bodily fluids. I got another dose when I was stuck with that needle. All right, I gotta find Susan. See if she's found out how Emily got infected. It could be clothing, jewelry, lotions. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You asked me to flag anything unusual that came in. Okay, thank you. What is it? Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a workup sheet. A psych patient just came in and was admitted. And she has the synthetic toxin in her blood, too. What's the patient's name? Meg Snyder Ryan. She'll sleep soon. These stay on this time, or you can't visit again. She said they were hurting her. They're mostly for her protection. It helps to remember that. Thank you. So 
sorry. I'm so sorry I hurt that nurse. And I'm so sorry I almost tried to hurt you. What is wrong with me, boy? Nothing we can't fix. Other people are saying it sounds just like what Meg is going through. What are you talking about? Okay, evidently, let me ask you, has Meg received any kind of gift in the mail since she started having hallucinations? Gifts? No, I don't think so. I mean, the hallucinations started the day that we had the wedding ceremony here in the hospital. But we didn't get any gift. It could have been something that she wore, uh, often probably, like a watch, uh, clothing. A necklace? It's right here. Let me. It's a blue. You see it? And it's a. When and Hill sent it to me. By mail? Yes, by mail. And Meg wore it. She borrowed it for their wedding. She wore it more than once. Yeah, she's worn it practically every day since that wedding ceremony, which is when the hallucination started. Barbara, call Will and Gwen. Find out if they did send that necklace. Sure, sure. And take this to the lab and test it. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you need. Honey, honey, it's mom. Um, as soon as you get this message, would you please call? It's urgent. I gotta get this to the lab right away. Okay, I'll check with you later. I want to give Margo an update. All right. Can you please tell us what's going on? I believe Meg was poisoned, and it's not an isolated incident. Who would do something like that? Will? Barbara? Rick Decker here. How are things? What do you want? Well, I was hoping to be of help to your family. Excuse me, I have to take this. I gotta get to the lab. We're doing everything we can to find a treatment. Can you at least tell me how many people were infected? Three are critical. I'll be in touch. What do you know about my family? Why are you calling me? Questions. Nothing but questions. It's, uh, it's frustrating, isn't it? What do you want, Rick? I'm offering my services. Now, I realize that my, my last attempt at solving a case ended unsuccessfully, but I'm willing to make it up to you. And I'm certain that I can make this problem go away. How? How do you even know? Hire me. And do it now. It may be your daughter-in-law's only hope. How is Rick Decker going to help anybody? He's a murderer, Mother. He's insane. Have you forgotten that he tried to kill you? Exactly my thoughts. Look at the people who are sick. Allison, Emily, and Meg has been affected by something that was intended for me. Fine, so Rick Decker's gonna help because... Because he's the one who poisoned them. Wait, what did your advertiser say? They sent me the perfume, it wasn't them. But that was it. The perfumes made me crazy. Yeah, you would think so. And then I pass it on to Casey. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna make it we're, stop? We're working on it. We're working on it, don't worry. Here's that perfume, Dallas. Second chances? It's my mother's favorite fragrance, so I thought she'd want to have it. I never got around to using it. I I, I wish I'd tossed it what, out. The other perfume, the one you had on the plane, well, what was that called? Sweet Vengeance. Why else would Rick call me today of all days offering to help? And all the people he targeted were instrumental in having him put away. I betrayed him. I got him locked up. He hasn't forgotten. <sighs> Let's kill him. Later. Right now, we hire him. Why would you do that? This can't be anything other than just a scam. Or it's the only way to save your wife. What's wrong? Well, we've had a couple of complications. You know how we've been keeping Meg sedated. Yeah, to quiet her hallucinations. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to back off some of those medications. Why? Well, we can't, we can't risk depressing her, her breathing and lowering her heart rate. It's the way this toxin seems to affect her body. Are you saying that whatever she has could, could, could kill her? Paul, we're doing everything we can. If you have any questions, please tell the nurse I will come right back up here. Thank you. Paul. Call Decker. Are you leaving? Yeah. I need to have some time. 
need to let things sink in, you know? I'll be at the Lakeview. Holden, I, I didn't mean to judge you. <sighs> Mama, I fought hard for my marriage, but I can't continue to fight a losing battle. I need to accept that it's over. Maybe not. What did you do? Well, maybe you're ready to give up. But I can't. You have no right to be here. Well, Luke, frankly, I don't want to be. And yet here I am. I guess we all have to suffer. Where's your mother? Right here. Luke, will you excuse us? Please. You've got guts. Really? Would you listen to me? Please. I need you to know that I have absolutely no desire. I have, I have no intention of being with Holden. We knew a long time ago that we made a mistake. That's why we ended it. Liar. What will it take for you to believe me, huh? Well, you could stay away from my husband. But you just can't do that, can you? Holden and I have not been together. You were with him today. And why was that, Carly? You had some urgent message you had to deliver to him? Well, well actually... <laughs> you could have called. You could have emailed. You could have faxed. But then you couldn't have seen his face. You couldn't have held him for one more time. Lily, he loves you. Do not presume to tell me how my husband feels about me. I can't stomach your lies or your pathetic attempts to make nice after you've wrecked my life. You know what? I didn't even want to come here, okay? I, I did it for Emma. Emma? Emma. Believe it or not, once upon a time, she and I were friends too. And just so I could live, knowing that I tried everything, I decided to come here. But I gotta tell you something, Lily. You are, without a doubt, the biggest hypocrite I have ever known. You're calling me a hypocrite? Well, Lily, after your affair with Dusty, you were desperate for Holden to forgive you. You couldn't understand why he needed time. You had to force the issue. You should have just given him what he needed instead of expecting him to bounce back like you had done nothing wrong. Oh, you're lecturing me on morality now? I just think it stinks how you've got everybody on board, furious with Holden, protecting you. You're hurt. I get it. Can't you see that he's trying to make things right? Can't you forgive him? Can't you just try to see things from his point of view? I do see. I see it only too well. How I made love to Holden and thought of Dusty. I am not like those other wives, those innocent wives who have to wonder. I know what Holden feels for you and I can't live with that. I won't live with that. Lily, you are not being fair to him. That's it! That is the last time I will let you lecture me about my husband. Just tell Emma, when you see her, that I tried. Again. Get out of here. <laughs> Hello? Emma, it's Lily. Oh, hi. Hi, Lily. How are you doing, sweetheart? You sent Carly to speak to me? Yes. Yes, I did. I, I wanted to help. Emma, I know you meant well, but nothing is going to change my mind. Lily, you and Holden are so stubborn. Maybe so. Goodbye. Mom. We'll all survive this. Even you. Talk to you for a second. I uh, uh, heard about Meg. I'm so sorry. How about Casey? Any change? No, there's nothing new on the case. As soon as I find out anything. Well, we have something that we think might help. What, a lead? Possibly a cure. I got a call from Rick Decker. He's offered his services. No, no. Dr. Decker is not getting near this. He's an abomination. Look, we're not asking the state to pay for anything. We'll handle the costs. It's just that because he's in prison. Oh, oh, you need me to sign off. Look, I know we're grasping at straws here, Marco, but. 
I've been grasping at straws myself. If you think Decker is the magic bullet, then go for it. Emily. Emily. <clears throat> Okay, I can see you. Can't. It's you're in the I hospital. No. I want to see my wife. You can. I want to see my wife. Shh, shh, shh. Emily. Calm down. Please. Calm down. Please. Get my oh. husband. Hurry oh, up. I can't leave you. Listen, you go get him. He's not going to hurt you. Now get in. Oh, God. Oh, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. Shh, 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 shh. Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh. Hughes, Margo, you better get over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Casey, take it easy. Open your eyes and talk to me. I know you can do it. You've been asleep a long time. You want some water? Get some water, okay? Erin, okay. am I gonna die? Way. You're gonna keep fighting the way you always do. I don't think I can. Where do you want this guy, Lieutenant? Ask them. He's their problem. Oh, my benefactors, I am I am so so grateful for your largeness. I will do everything in my power to help your lovely wife. You think you could give us a second? Don't try to make a run for it, Decker. I shoot to kill. There's nothing like a trigger-happy cop to make you feel a warm and fuzzy inside. Let's get something clear. Be careful. You should listen to your mother, Paul. I know you did it. Would you laugh at me? No, we should all be happy. Basking in the knowledge that very soon May will be as good as new. That is assuming that we can come to terms. Ellie, are you awake? I'm gonna go across the street. Get you something to cheer you up. Something you'll see every time you open those eyes for me. Promise me you'll hang in there. My wife. I, know, you I want to be with her. I want. Why can't I, I see her? Casey, 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 Casey. He gets so upset, he passes out. Honey, 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 please, please, please. Mom, please, 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 you can do this. I made a vow. Definitely. I said we would be together until we died. Mom, please, please, please. Let me see my wife. Shh. Oh, Casey, I'm here, baby. I'm gonna hold you, but I can't. Uh, Susan, can you undo the restraints? Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, you love her.
Hi. I wasn't going to pick up. I almost didn't call. But I wanted to let you know that I moved out of the farm. I'm at the Lakeview. Holden. You know, it's funny, because I'm here in this room. It just seems, it seems so empty. It's kind of freaking me out a bit. I, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to meet me for a drink. I don't think that's a good idea. Hi. I need to get back in there. I just left a few minutes ago to pick these up for a friend. Sorry, you can't come in. The place is quarantined. Is there any progress? Not yet. Do the police have any idea who did this or why? Well, we're tracing the gifts. We're tracking all the purchases. Well, if there's anything I can do to help... Oh, I wish you could. You'd be so much more helpful than Barbara Paul Ryan. They've actually hired Rick Decker again. Rick Decker? He's a, he's a homicidal maniac. He's a, a serial... I must have been so worried about Casey. I, I didn't see him staring at me right in the face. Margo, what? Well, Rick Decker did this. I can save those people. I have the end And what do you want in return? Poetic justice, Barbara, dearest. You help put me in jail. You can help me escape. 